In this tutorial, I'm going to find the eigenvectors of the matrix A, which has elements 2, 3, minus 3, 2. By definition, every non-zero vector x satisfying the equation A minus lambda i n multiplied by x is equal to the zero vector is called an eigenvector. So we are going to look for that vector x there. But in our equation there, we are having a lambda. That lambda is uh, an eigenvalue of uh, the given um, matrix there. So for us to find the eigenvectors, we first need to find the eigenvalues. By definition, eigenvalues are roots of the characteristic polynomial. So for us to get those eigenvalues, we have to find the characteristic polynomial first. The characteristic polynomial which we denote by Pn of lambda is the determinant of A minus lambda i n. If we look there, where we have the lambda i n, and the i n there is uh, an identity matrix which has the same size as uh, the given matrix. In this case, we are having a 2 by 2 matrix, so our i n will be the identity 2 by 2 matrix there. It has ones on the diagonal. And in the formula, we are multiplying that i n by lambda. This will result in having lambda on the diagonal there. So we are subtracting a matrix which has lambdas on the diagonal from the matrix A. What it will result in is subtracting lambda from these elements which I've just highlighted. So when you subtract lambda from uh, these uh, two elements there, what we will have is uh, the determinant of 2 minus lambda 3 minus 3 2 minus lambda. What we are now having there is uh, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix when we have a 2 by 2 matrix A, B, C, D, the determinant is A, D minus B, C. So using that formula, our determinant will simplify to 2 minus lambda multiplied by 2 minus lambda plus 9. We can expand that and it will give us lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 13. So what we are having there is the characteristic polynomial is lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 18. Earlier we said that eigenvalues are roots of the characteristic polynomial. To get the roots of uh, that polynomial that we have on the left, we set Pn of lambda equals to 0 and uh, solve for lambda. So when we do that, we get lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 18 is equals to 0. We can try to find factors there two numbers which when you multiply them they give us a 13 when you add them they give us a minus 4. In this case we can't find any factors so we would have to use uh, the quadratic formula. So if you compare our equation which is given there, the one which is on the left and the one which is in the quadratic formula there, we see that uh, the coefficient of lambda squared which will be our a is a 1. The coefficient of uh, the lambda, which will be our b, is a minus 4, and the constant there, the c, is a 13. So using the quadratic formula, we would have lambda is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 52 divided by 2. But 16 minus 52, it gives us a minus 36. The square root of minus 36 will be 6i because it will be a complex number. Both the square root of a negative, it gives us a complex number there. So we def our lambda will be 4 plus or minus 6i divided by 2. So when you divide throughout by the 2 there, we will get 2 plus or minus 3i. So our eigenvalues will be lambda 1 is 2 plus 3i. And the second eigenvalue is 2 minus 3i. So what we are having there is uh, the matrix uh, A there has two eigenvalues, 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i. Now that we have found uh, the eigenvalues, we can now go on and find uh, the eigenvectors. Because we are saying any vector which satisfies the equation A minus lambda i n multiplied by the vector x is equal to the zero vector is uh, an eigenvector of uh, the given matrix. So we substitute our A into the formula which is appearing at the bottom there. We substitute our A. We have our identity matrix. It has the same size, so it will be a 2 by 2 matrix. 
the zero vector there will be a column vector with two entries. And uh, the vector x there will be a vector with two entries and we'll call them x1 and x2. So when you substitute uh, what we are given there, we would have the matrix there, the 2, 3, minus 3, 2, minus the lambda, multiplied by the identity matrix, multiplied by the vector, which has uh, elements x1, x2, is equals to the zero vector, which is a column vector, which has uh, two elements there. Now looking at uh, the first uh, eigenvalue there, the lambda 1, which is equals to 2 plus 3i. If we substitute it into this equation there, where we have the lambda, it will result in having 2 plus 3i on the diagonal there. And we are subtracting that matrix which would have 2 plus 3i from the matrix A. So what it will result in is we'll be subtracting 2 plus 3i from the elements which are on the diagonal of the matrix A. So we would have 2 minus 2 plus 3i, so it will give us minus 3i then uh, minus 3i again on the other one. So our equation becomes minus 3i, 3, minus 3, minus 3i, multiplied by the column vector x1, x2, is equal to the zero vector. We can now go on and use a matrix multiplication there, a row by column. And the first row there, minus 3i, 3, we multiply it by the x1, x2, and it will give us minus 3i, x1, plus 3x2 is equals to 0. Again, by matrix multiplication for the second row there, minus 3, minus 3i, multiply it by that uh, column vector x1, x2, it will give us minus 3x1, minus 3i, x2 is equals to 0. I will label that equation number 1 and equation number 2. I usually find it convenient to write the other variable there, the x2, in terms of x1. So from equation number 1, we see that uh, the x2 there would be having 3x2 is equals to 3ix1, which will give us x2 is equals to ix1. We can then go on and set x1 to be equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number. But when we started, we said our vector x, we wrote it as a column vector there, x1, x2. So I'll just write our x there is x1, x2. But in this case now, we are saying x1 is equals to alpha. x2 is equals to i, x1. But x1 is alpha, so x2 will be i, alpha. So our vector there, if we substitute the x1 and the x2, which I've just set, would have alpha, i, alpha. Alpha is a constant. We can uh, factor it out there. So we have alpha multiplied by that vector 1i. So what we are having there, the alpha there is a real number. So we'll be having infinitely many eigenvectors. But what you want is uh, the linearly independent eigenvector. All the other vectors are just scalar multiples of uh, this vector here, 1i. So the linearly independent eigenvector will be 1i. So what we are having there is uh, the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue 2 plus 3i is 1i. So we have found uh, the first eigenvector there corresponding to lambda 1. We now move on to finding the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2, which is 2 minus 3i. So what we will do is we'll look at uh, in the equation that we have there, we are having a lambda. We are now substituting 2 minus 3i. So when you substitute 2 minus 3i, it will result in having 2 minus 3i on the diagonal. So we'll be subtracting a matrix which is 2 minus 3i from uh, the matrix A there. So it will result in from the diagonals on the matrix A where we are having the 2, 2. We are now subtracting 2 minus 3i and it will result in having 3i there because 2 minus 2 minus 3i to give us a 3i. So our equation will become 3i, 3 minus 3, 3i multiplied by the column vector x1, x2 is equal to the column vector 0, 0.
by matrix multiplication row by column we would have the 3i 3 multiplied by the column vector x1 x2 it will give us 3i x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 0 and i'll call that equation number 3 and uh, the second row minus 3 3i multiplied by that column vector to give us 3x1 plus 3i x2 is equals to 0 I'll call that equation number 4. I'll then go on and write the variable x2 there in terms of x1. So from equation number 3, we would have 3x2 is equals to minus 3i x1. So we would have x2 is equals to minus i x1. If we set x1 equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number, and then we look at our vector, we say it is uh, that column vector x1, x2. And uh, we say that that vector there will be our x. So we are saying x is equal to x1, x2. In this case, we are saying our x1 is alpha. Our x2 is equal to i, x1. So it will be i, alpha. So what we'll be having there, our x2 is equal to minus i, alpha. Our x1 is alpha, so our vector becomes alpha minus i alpha. And the alpha is a constant, it's a real number, we can factor it. So we def alpha multiplied by 1 minus i. So what we are having there, we'll be having infinitely many vectors because alpha you can take any real number. We have infinitely many real numbers. But those vectors, we are saying they will just be a scalar multiple of one vector, this one. 1 minus i. So the one that I've highlighted there will be the linearly independent eigenvector because all the other vectors will be just be a scalar multiple of that vector which is there. So what we are having there is the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2 which is 2 minus 3i is 1 minus i. So what we are having there those are the two linearly independent eigenvectors uh, for the given 2 by 2 matrix there. 